people are the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people are seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet and my blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blackspot dot com and i'm here today to show you how to make a very secure tie free knot for crochet braids you do not have to tie but this knot will be secure and will stay in your hair without pulling out african export has the exact same knot on her video but because of the darkness of the hair even with the good lighting it's hard to see and then if you have eyes like me where you need these on your face to see anything small you end up watching that video three four times anyway I'm going to give you my demonstration of that same knot this is a knitting needle this is what used to be the neckline of a t-shirt along with the tag let's get rid of that and I'm going to use these items to duplicate what you're going to do pretend this is the strand of hair and just to demonstrate that you do not need to make a tight knot I'm not going to cut this in half this is still a circle and it will still work let me show you what you do pretend this is the braid and of course you take the you know crochet hook and you pull under the braid and come around okay here's your loop you're going to pull the hair all the way through that loop then you're going to take the loop twist it pull it back through twist that loop again and take the hair through it one more time of course when you do it the loop will be big enough for you to do whatever it is you need to do and if the hair is slippery that'll help as well so you know some moisturizer or something on the hair now you'll notice I did that and there's no need to tie now you're going to pull it one strand two strand pull them both together very taut and you get that now imagine if you will it looks the same on both sides well actually all sides but imagine if you will if you have a teeny section in the front of your hair you know as you can tell I got the back of my hair ready to go for larger sections but say for instance you do it really small in the front that allows you to actually have parts or whatever make a nearly invisible join so I'm going to take that loose let's guess what Ta -da. it will pop a loose if there's no braid there so when it's time to take it out that will be easy too but I'm going to okay since this is a knit needle instead of being attached to my hair I'm going to show you basically in the air but the steps are exactly the same so once you get the hair from under and you pull the loose hair through you're going to keep that loop okay well let's do it a different way shall we that's the way most crochet knots look and then people try to tie on top which makes no sense because unless you take them one on top of the other there's no place for it to anchor really so we're going to get the hair through make a loop this would be better if I was doing it with my left hand but for purposes of video I actually work better with my right hand and then you're going to twist it and grab that hair again pulling it through then you're going to pull one strain and the other strain and push it up that tightens it into that configuration there see and when you turn it over it looks exactly the same I'm going to find the link for African exports video and post it so you can see a better demonstration because she does on someone's actual head but in the meantime let's pretend like we're pulling the hair through take your loop yeah. well, let's do it with my left hand shall we pull the hair through twist the loop pull the hair through the loop again twist the hair pull it through the loop one more time then tighten the whole shebang with a gentle pull 
And if you have to pull one side, then the other side, it's still going to make a secure knot like that. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. Y'all stay blessed. Bye now.